Hello guys, welcome back to youtube.com slash blender classes and um, we are back here and our next tutorial is basically we'll be creating a character more like a minecraft character we'll also be unwrapping it um, going into paint, adding a texture on it and hopefully adding some bones so let's get started first thing we're gonna do go to load factory settings under file click load factory settings so you basically see the same screen as me and the first thing we're gonna do press 1 to go into the front camera and then 5 to go into the orthodox camera what we're gonna do now actually we are going to bring this up you see with the blue arrow just bring it up a bit and what, now you've got this let's just scale it up a bit press S just scale it down say to about here so that's S so you can scale it down so we bring it up now what we're gonna do we're gonna create the body so now what we're gonna do now press shift and D which duplicates the cube that you have and just place it right under the head and if you zoom in and hold shift and drag down with your mouse button oh you have drag down with your mouse button and you will start seeing your head okay now that you have your head your body we can actually just kill it a bit so you press s and on the Z axis, that's S and then Z, just bring it down to say about here. Now just bring it down. Zoom in, make sure that it's say that yeah, that's fine. So about there. Now that you have that done, you can start doing the arms. Now for the arms, what we're gonna do, select your head, shift D again to duplicate and bring it to about here now the, actually the first thing we're gonna do press 3 on your keyboard press Z to go in Z to go into the wireframe mode and just make sure that everything is properly aligned now that's done press Z go back into the front view what you can do is actually just scale this a little bit so on the X, no actually on the Y axis, just bring it in, say to about here. And scale it again on the X axis, bring it to about here. Bring it in, press one, go back to go back into your front view. Now what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to scale it again. On the z-axis, just bring it up to say, because the hands have to be just slightly bigger than the head. Just bring it here. Bring it down. Bring it in a bit more. And that's done. Okay, now we've got that done. What we're gonna do now, press 1 to go back into your front view, press Shift D, and on the X axis, which lets you bring your hand basically on the X axis, you can bring it to say around here. Now that's done. We have the head, the body, and the arms. Now, what we need to do is do the legs. So we can zoom out, Shift D, again, remember Shift D to duplicate, Shift D, and you can bring it to say around here, and zoom in more. Actually what we can do, you press X, and on the X axis, bring it down here so we can actually have a bit of space. And now you can just bring it in, say, to about there. Shift D again to duplicate. 
hold X, well press X, and it's going to be on the X axis, and you can bring it to say around here. Now that's done. You can see we have a lovely, lovely Minecraft character, but it has no textures. So what we're going to do now, we're going to add some knees on it. Go back into your front view with the number one keypad. Hold shift and drag up. What we're going to do now, we're going to actually create some knees. See, um... I would say we bring it up to right about in the middle, but actually, we go back into edit mode. What we're going to do now, we're going to add some loop cuts just above the knee. So we press R, Control R, and as you can see, you get this loop cut here, so we can bring it to say around here. And we do the same to actually you know what we're gonna do? We add another one to say around here, and we can add another one say around here. Now that's done. What we're gonna actually do now, gonna select this leg, delete it, select this one. Make sure you from Shift D on the X axis, bring it to about here. And if you go back into edit mode, you can see that now you have the knees done here. So basically, it will be easier for the character to bend and stuff like that when we're adding bones. Now that's done. We can now start adding some seams. Basically, seams is uh, to unwrap it and get the UV layout, um, bring it to paint or whatever program you're using, and then add some textures on it. And basically, have something to show in your character. Now, what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to have to do is um, select everything. Actually, go into object mode deselect this so a so now you can select everything and you press control j now basically you can edit any certain mesh that you want so you can do this side you can do this side you can do this side the head the body and that basically makes it easier for marking the seams and unwrapping it so now what we're gonna do gonna start marking the seams first thing we're gonna do we're gonna do the head so we can A to deselect everything now it's actually easier if you do this on the wireframe mode so you press Z so you can see all of your um, edges that you're gonna be doing so first thing we're gonna do see this icon here we we'll click it which is right here and now we can start with the oh my mouse start with the head okay well the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna select the corners and please make sure that you select the right corners of the head so we select this one the right one that's right and we select This one here, the right one. Oh, yeah, that looks like the right one. Select this face here. Select this face. This top here and this top here, and we can select this one. Basically, this unwraps all the faces and the sides. And now, what we're gonna do? Press Control E, and we go to this loop. Control E and this button here where it says mark seam, select it. I'm gonna do the same to each other part of the body. So remember the corners first, so one, two, oh, don't want that. One, two, three, four. Same as here, we select this section here. Oh, wrong one. 
this section and this section and what we can actually do we can do this this side as well so corners remember when you're selecting this section here make sure it's in the back yeah so we do one two same as the other one that's done and what we can do now can we squeeze in the body we can actually so what we're gonna do we're gonna press this corner this corner and we can do this corner select this face this corner same as the other ones guys this one and this one and what we can actually do now yeah we can actually mark this so control e mark seam now that's done can now go on and do the legs and the legs pretty simple same procedure so one two three oh. one two Oh, don't want that. This side. We can do this side. This side, this side. This side. Oh, wrong one. Now that's done. What we can do here, we actually have to zoom in. And we can do, we have to do one, two, three. One, two, three. Same thing for this leg here. So we do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now that's done. Do not forget. Actually, you know what? I did forget something. So we can mark this one and this one. Remember to do all the corners. I made a mistake there. Excuse me. This one and this one. We do this one and this one. So now that's done, you can press Ctrl E, mark seam. Now we have our character seamed already. What we're going to do now, we're going to press this button here and go to UV editing. Now that's done. You can actually click new, go to OK. And now if you come to this section here press a to select deselect and then to select everything and you press u unwrap basically unwraps all of your seams into this uv map right here so press u and click unwrap and as you can see we have our map here now what we're going to do we're actually going to have to arrange it a bit so come here you go into your front now what we want, we want the hands and the legs to be the same, um, say, uh, texture. So a trick I like to do, so actually what we're going to do now, I'll show you a little trick. Deselect everything. And if you come here and you see this um, icon here, if you click it, all of your, basically your maps will be shown here where your seams so now what we're gonna do this is a little trick which I like if you come you don't need that if you come into the face selection mode and if you click example here and you press L over that part of the body it selects the whole um, it selects the whole uh, seams here so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just grab this by pressing the G, bring it to here, and as you can see, this is this is the other part of the leg. Bring it to here, press R to rotate, rotate it to say there, press G to grab again, and just place it over. Now that's done, we can actually just go in and make sure it's properly done. If you go to the arm, press L, grab, rotate with the G, G to grab, R to rotate, 
bring it to there, grab it. Actually, what we can do, just grab it and put it here. And what we're going to actually do, you can press B and bring it up to here, which you select both arms. Grab it, bring it to here. Press R again to rotate. Bring it to here. Now what we're going to do for the arms, we're actually going to select this section here and this section here. Actually first, we can grab this, bring it to say here, and now B, press B, grab this, and bring it to here. For the legs, because this is the knees, so what we're going to do, we can actually select this part, actually it's a deselect, so select this part here, press G to grab, bring it to there, actually we can leave that here, and this one here, grab it and leave it to say there. So what we're going to do now is sort out the body. So deselect everything, come to the body, L to select everything. Remember, this is your front. Actually, yeah, this is your, we can actually press L to select everything. Actually, let's do the head. Come here. Press L, press G to grab, bring it up, and this is important because your face, you're gonna, which is right here, we're actually gonna have to put, um, draw something on here so we can have it done. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna select the top and bring it down to the bottom, so it lands with the bottom here. The left, we can grab it, bring it here, we can actually scale it up a bit, and this one as well, grab, bring it here, S to scale, we scale it up a bit and then G to grab again, and we can see, bring it to about there. And now we have your face here. I can actually scale this here because press S to scale and on the X axis. And then S again and on the Z axis. That's fine. You can bring it to about here. So this is the top and the bottom. This is the face. Actually, this is the left and right of the sides, excuse me there, oh, oh, that's the front, so we need this one here, can bring it up to about here, the face we can bring it there, and the top we can actually leave it, say here, because this will just be black. And the back, actually scale this up a bit, and then scale on the x-axis to say about there. Grab this. See, this is the bottom can be, grab the bottom, so we know this is here. The sides, let's see, top, bottom. So this one we can actually, the back we can actually make, yeah that's fine. So we have the face, the bottom, the top, so actually this one we can actually bring it here, this one we bring it here, on the back we can bring it here, so press B, grab this section for the sides, 
the face, the top, the bottom, and we have our face here. By say if you want, you can actually make this very accurate. And this is the back, so we can actually grab this and put it here. You have your hands, you have your legs, and you have your body, so the body will be the same. So, okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna unwrap this, well, save the map, and then go into paint and edit it. So, either we're gonna click UV and then export UV layout. What we're gonna do, we're actually gonna go into our desktop. This is where I want to save it, so you just have to remember where you save it. So I want to save it into my Blender classes. And I'm going to call this Minecraft underscore character dot PNG. Now I'm gonna do, we're going to export. We just wait for this to be to do. Now that's done. Now I'm gonna go start and you can go into you can do this in paint, you can do this in GIMP, but we're gonna use paint. And now that's once we open our paint, right, we're gonna keep the same size as the UV layout because that way is much better. Yeah. Now we have this, we're gonna go to open our image, so file, open. sometime today remember visit our uh, channel youtube.com slash blender classes for all kind of tutorials and there'll be more tutorials okay now I'm gonna go to where I have my first so blender classes to open the UV layout and if you come here my layout is right here so I click this open and my layout is not here. Oh, that's because I had this section selected. So we we'll do that again. We we'll go to UV, export UV layout, Blender classes, and we we'll go to Minecraft's character. Go export UV layout. So you can close this. Did I do it right? Go to File Open. And again, haha. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do, we're gonna select everything. This time it will work. So, we go to UV, export UV layout, Blender classes, Minecraft character. Actually, just gonna put underscore here too. And we're gonna do export UV layout. And it will work this time. Okay, now if you go to open again, excuse me about that. And you can see that we have our layout. So the next thing we're going to do, as you can see, we're going to start adding some textures to this. So what we're going to do now, as you can see, these sections here are the sides. So what I'm going to do quickly here is just put a bit of hair so you can grab this brush. So we can just say do this. Excuse my drawing. To so there. Get the fill. Fill this in. Fill this in. Can fill this section here as well. Just zoom in. Fill this one here. This one. Can actually get a pen and make sure that you get everything. So Okay, that's done. Okay, now that's done. We have the sides. And what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna give him like a orangey look. So click the orange, paste here for the side. And we're actually gonna do the same to the face. And as you know, this is the face, 
which is right here. So we can go back to this. And we can paint this, this color. What we're going to do now, same thing. Click the black. Go to the brushes. And just draw a bit of the hair. Do it to say about there. And go to here. Paint that so we have the hair here and the on the side the hair will be go the hair will go here. Now that's done. We can now move on to the top. The top which is right here we can just paint this black. Uh, as you can see this is the bottom. Oh, the bottom we are actually gonna paint it orange so it matches the face. And that's done. And now what we're going to do, we are going to do the body, which is, actually, forgot to do the back. So now we're going to paint, and for the back, same thing, get the brush, click the black color, and we go like this. Yeah, set to there. Okay, we can get the paint bucket tool. Paint this black. Paint this orange. And I will, do you see the reason that I'm doing this? And now we're gonna go to the body. See the body here? We're actually gonna make the whole body blue. So we can click. Uh, yeah, so we can paint the body now. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And what we can actually do is add some kind of textures to this. So it actually looks good. So we can just say uh, with the black. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it here. Yeah, do it here as well. Oh, I can do one here. Yeah, and that's done. Oh, I can do one here as well. Bend it uh, there. Okay, now that's done. The arms, same thing, we'll put them blue. So we can click the pen back. Oh, wrong one which is right here so we can paint this paint this this one this one and this one so the body and them will be the same and for the legs we're actually gonna do uh, which color so we can yeah we do the blue so paint the blue 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 and this one and what we're gonna do now we're actually gonna get a different color say this red paint this one and this one this one and this one this is for the knees and now that's done and what we're gonna do now we're actually gonna add a face on this so what i wanna do i just wanna check so this is the bottom that's fine and for this, we can actually get uh, the brush, say this one here, and we can do, oh, don't want that, we want black. So we can do, say, like this, we can do, The eyes, we do the eyes. Oh, this one's bigger than the other one. So just make this bigger. What we're gonna do, we're actually gonna do mustache there, mustache there. And we can actually put a mouth. And once you've done that, Go to the pen bucket tool, paste here, paste here. 
and we have a kind of a simple map here. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to here to save. Go save as, and we're actually gonna export it as Minecraft Character 3. So if you do Minecraft Character 3, same place where you save this, click save, just click OK there, so that's fine. And then it's going to be the same size as your map. Now we go back to Blender. I hope I'm not too quick. Now what we're going to do, a few things. We're actually going to go back to the default mode. So you come to this button here. Click default. Go back. Get out of the wireframe mode. So now we're going to do enlarge this. I'm going to add a texture to this. First you go to material. Make sure it's there. Now we're going to texture you get this default texture here so you can press X which is right here to delete it press new share this is a recording still in you press new and where you have the type you can change from cloud to image or movie from there you go back here where it says coordinates click the generated and click UV once that's done you see this icon here that says open you click it and go to where you have your image so mine will be in blender classes and it will be this one here which is Minecraft character 3 you click it and if you go up you can see that your texture has come here and if you go to your material you can see your texture here so now what we're gonna do just make this smaller come back here go to UV editing and you click image open image again go to where you have your texture Minecraft character 3 you can call yours whatever you want click it twice and it didn't come up And I have no idea why. Let's see, texture paint didn't come up. So we'll try again. We go to image, open image, Blender classes, Minecraft Hero 3. I don't, I don't think I pressed OK. OK, now if you see, if you go into edit mode, actually we can open it now. Go open, Blender classes. Open image, come on, click it. Actually, we go texture paint. Can I see it? Actually, you know what we're gonna do? New image. What we're we gonna do? Go image, open image, Blender classes, Minecraft character three. And it's not showing. I have no idea why. Open Blender classes. Let's see if we try to render that would it show. Okay, you see when you render it, it's showing. So I'm get out of this. Press X. Get rid of this. Press the T button. Bring this up. Image. New image. Open. Blender classes. There you go. Okay, as you can see, all of our faces and everything are in the body. Now, if we go back into the default mode, and we try to, what we can actually do, we go into object mode. If you go into object mode, you can actually see your character right here. If you go into your front view, you can see with your funny textures and everything. Now, what we're going to do quickly, Go back into edit mode. 
we're actually gonna try view this see how it comes right if it's rendered so if you press to you can see that our camera is not good so we're gonna do we go back we actually go into object mode and we can actually see the camera right here so we can just bring it here press zero to see where it is so you can bring it up a bit okay we have our character okay that's done now what we're gonna do we get the light and just bring it slightly left if you see if you try to render it you can see that you have your character now that's done what we're gonna do now exit this Oh, if you can go back into the 3D view, and now we can go back into um, select everything, go back into the UV editing. Now, the thing I want to do here is um. Uh, actually, let's go back into the default mode. And if you view this, if you render it, we can actually now start in the bones to this. So I'll show you quickly how it's done. So we can go back into the front view, go back into. Okay, now I cannot go into object mode, edit mode. You know what? We'll leave this as the first class. Render it, and there you have it. You have your character. Thank you very much for viewing, and we will see you again soon. Thank you very much. Remember, youtube.com slash blender classes. Thank you very much.